Welcome back to The Road to Platinum, the series where I don't show you how to get a specific trophy, but instead walk you through the steps you should take from the beginning when trying to platinum it. As we all know, when you first start up a game and look at the trophy list, the ultimate goal can appear daunting. So I'm gonna hopefully alleviate that for you. And uh, this week, I'm going to give you the steps required to platinum Batman Arkham Knight. Now I have numerous guides, and when I say numerous, 45 of them, uh, for specific trophies on my channel. So click on the link in the description to bring up the playlist or for any relevant links that I do mention in the video. Now thankfully, Arkham Knight has no missable or online trophies, but it does have a ton of things you'll need to do along with a new story plus playthrough, which is on hard difficulty. Now there's one kind of glitchy trophy called Blunt Trauma, and I will uh, cover that a little bit later in this video. Now the game should take about 50 hours uh, perhaps to platinum it with a difficulty I would say of of about four to five out of ten now of all the Batman games this is by far the easiest one to platinum due to the lack of a true challenge mode in this game now the first step will be for you to beat the game completing the game on any difficulty will unlock the new story plus mode now you can play it on easy if you wish from the beginning but I highly recommend you play on normal so you'll be properly prepared for playing it again on hard during the new story plus mode now since this is an open world game you will have opportunities to complete numerous side quests uh, the side quests are called most wanted missions uh, you can do those at any time but uh, you will need to complete all of them and uh, you can do it also after you do the finish the main story as there is a free roam after uh, beating the game. Now it's up to you when you want to tackle all of these, but doing them early will score you upgrade points uh, that you can use to upgrade your character and equipment, uh, which will make the game ultimately a little easier for you as you progress through it. Now don't forget to upgrade the Batmobile as well as that will prove uh, especially useful. Uh, now after finishing the story, you will now want to go and finish all the most wanted side quests. And the DLC is not required for this. Uh, most of these are pretty straightforward, but several of them are going to require you to find certain things to go to certain areas. So I do have a map with the location for most of these. Uh, so check the video in my playlist, or I do have a, a link to the map on my website as well. Now the one exceptionally long most wanted mission is the one for the Riddler uh, that unlocks the Riddle Me That trophy. Now to complete his mission, you will need to complete all of his trials, there's 10 of them, and then you'll have to do all 315 Riddler challenges. Uh, this will be one of the, uh, you want to make this be one of the final things you do before starting the new story plus, as you'll need gadgets that you won't have until later in the game. Now you'll also need to find the Freeze Blast gadget, which is located near the holding cells in Panessa Studio. So again, I do have a video of that location. And you will need to have the Sabotage Mind Disruptor upgrade. Uh, so make sure you have the upgrade uh, of points available for this, as you won't have uh, enough points during your first playthrough to upgrade everything. But in the event that you don't upgrade it, you can also get that in uh, New Story Plus. Now here's the breakdown of all 315 Riddler challengers. Now there's 179 Riddler trophies, which are little question marks, 90 breakable objects, uh, there's 40 riddles uh, that you gotta solve using your scanner, and then there's bomb riders, six of them total, uh, and then that's where you neutralize the bomb uh, that's gonna be on a thug. Now the breakdown for the areas are as follows here. Uh, don't forget that in Founders Island there are two underground areas, uh, the subway and the headquarters, so make sure you uh, don't forget those as well. Now you can get these to, uh, all of these uh, to appear on the map by interrogating informants. When you scroll over the map, uh, if you look in the bottom corner, you'll see uh, information of how many of each are in the area that you have left to do. Uh, now you can interrogate the informants, you'll see them in green while you're in detective mode. So just knock out all the surrounding enemies first uh, before you start interrogating them. Now you can keep flying around the city looking for them uh, to get them all to pop up on your uh, map. Uh, but you don't need to uh, interrogate them to complete any of them. Uh, so it's just if you, if you want them not marked on the map. Uh, they'll be there. Now I don't have a video of these due to technical difficulties that I had and a bug I encountered, but I'll post a link below uh, to, to a very helpful guide that uh, you can find on IGN's wiki page. Uh, and as, as I mentioned, a couple of them can bug. Uh, there's a couple Riddler trophies uh, in the airship 
and for some reason I, w I was unable to get it and I know it's happened to a few people but in that case you can actually just go and get them in the, the new story plus mode. Now the next thing you'll need to do if you haven't already is to get 69 stars on the AR challenges. Again check my playlist for a video that I have of every single one of them that's in the main game. You'll need to three star all of the main game ones in order to get 69 but if you have the Scarecrow DLC or any other future DLC that includes the AR challenges, those will actually count towards the required uh, total of 69. So if one of them is giving you fits, uh, you can do the th uh, three easier Scarecrow ones for nine stars. Uh, some of the challenges also won't be available until after first completing a specific uh, task. Now once you've 100%ed the game, which by the way, the AR challenges actually don't count towards the 100%, but once you've 100% of the game, you'll wanna initiate the Nightfall Protocol. This will give you the full secret ending along with the Nightfall Trophy. You can activate the Nightfall Protocol earlier before you've got 100%, but you won't get the trophy until after you have 100%. If you do activate it earlier, uh, don't worry because you'll be brought back to free roam and you can activate it again once you've completed everything. Now there are a few, uh, well more than a few, several uh, miscellaneous trophies that you may have not unlocked at this point, uh, such as Brutality 101 or Blunt Trauma. Uh, again, you can check my playlist for guides on those, as well as all the other miscellaneous trophies. Now Blunt Trauma is the one that appears to be a little glitchy. Uh, this is the one for performing all 21 Predator moves at least once. Uh, you can do these in the AR challenges, but only do them by traveling to the location on the uh, the, the free roam map uh, to get to the challenge spot. Do not load up the AR challenge from the main menu because for some reason those don't seem to count. Uh, and also it does appear that sometimes the game doesn't properly uh, register you doing it and track it. So sometimes you'll have to do them a second time. Unfortunately, there's no way to track which ones uh, you've done. So if it doesn't pop and you know you've done all 21, uh, just go back and do them a second time. Now, if you have every possible trophy up to this point, uh, you'll have just one more left. And the final thing you need to do is to get the long Halloween trophy. And that is the one for beating the game on the new story plus mode. All of your gadgets and upgrades will carry over and all of the Riddler trophies that you've already previously collected uh, will be uh, off the game so you won't have to go back and get those again. Now the game is also set to hard difficulty so enemies will deal more damage and have higher health. Uh, and probably most importantly you will not have any counter icons alerting you of an impending attack or if someone's going to charge at you with a uh, melee weapon such as a knife uh, you won't see the uh, the yellow marks above their head so just be careful of that and that's it once you've uh, beat the game on new game plus uh, you will uh, hopefully at this point have your platinum trophy so i want to thank you guys for uh, tuning back into my second road to platinum video and uh, if you do want more of these let me know in the uh, comments below i appreciate it and of course like comment and subscribe